Martha's dead, by the way. Spoilers. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm I'm scared. I'm scared. But disclaimer, need to put it out there. My channel is, you know, for mature audiences, but this game is fiction. There's potentially uncomfortable scenes. This game covers topics that may distress some players. The game is recommended for adult audience. We're all adults here. Here is the appropriate age rating. Um, artistic interpretations can be visually upsetting or unsettling, may cause discomfort. It explores the complexity of the human mind, psychological trauma, self-harm. The game is not rec recommended for players who may find depictions of mature scenes containing blood, dismemberment, disfigurement of human bodies, and self-harm disturbing. That last one is me. But I am an adult. I know what I can and cannot handle. And I'm going into this knowing I'm going to be unsettled. Oh, that's nice. So, here you go. If, if you're struggling. Ciao, sono Giulia, Giulia K. Sono contenta che tu sia qui. Nessuno veniva più. Heavy rain loading screen. Hey, Mish! Devo raccontarti la mia storia, lo so, ma hmm. non so da dove cominciare. It's weird because it's choppy on stream, but it looks good on my computer. ma di quel periodo ricordo così poco. Maybe it doesn't look bad? Quell'estate era il 29, mi sembra. I don't know. I'm not detecting any issues, but let me know if it looks like shit. Oh, she has a scar. I completely missed what she was saying. Oops. I gotta pay attention. Pay attention. Okay. Mish, this is a scary game. No, passerotto. Non questa sera. Sta salendo la nebbia, vedi? Sì. Lo so che la dama uccide le giovani donne quando c'è la nebbia. Ma perché è così Wait, is this in Spanish? Why is this in Spanish? Hang on. Oh, the language is in Italian? But yeah, let's see how it is with English. La paura ci spingono a fare cose cattive. Even if we're not actually bad. That was a weird... have to kill other soldiers. I like that was the weird. lady I've decided, Nanny. She must be in so much pain. Hey, there's a lady. The poor dear. She still scares me a little, though. Soon I'll be a young woman, and she could kill me. Does she kill those who love her? Of course not. That makes me feel better because I love her. But what about Martha? Would she be in danger? Your sister is with your mother, so do not worry. Okay, so Martha's my sister. No. I mean, yes. I miss Martha Why are we separated from my family? I love spending time with you. Now, go to sleep, little sparrow. It's getting late. Okay, Nanny. I'll go to sleep and dream of the lady. Was she beautiful? She was beautiful. Yes. Very much so. Then she'll be beautiful in my dreams. And will I be beautiful just like her? You'll be even more beautiful. Listen, Nanny. Since the lady won't harm me because I love her, and since you're not a young woman... <gasps> Burn! You <laughs> even if it's foggy outside. Please. It's like, you're old. Oh, please, then I'll sleep. I promise. Now we're oh, gonna hear the story always. of the lady. You always get your own way. Damn right I do. Let's go. I loved Nanny and I loved that story. Every time I heard it, it sounded like a new and more mesmerizing tale. Every night I would ask her to tell me about it, even though it scared me. Even now I can remember every single day of that time and how happy I was. Does she describe details of the graphic court of the child? I hope not. According to an ancient See. legend, Ooh, okay. the lakes of the area are haunted by the spirit of a young woman who was killed by the man she loved. That sucks. Can I look at my nanny? No, I can't. This is as far over as I can go. My little legs. She was expecting look at my feet. Ew. Stroll by the lake, okay. Gazing out at the old tree growing on the lake's island. So much hope and desire, but death, not love. Why to kill her? her. Keep listening. 
I'm a good kid. In despair, the man confessed he had killed her out of jealousy. Okay. So he was hanged on the small island, in the middle of the very same lake where he had killed the girl. This is a bad bedtime story. They searched everywhere, but the girl's body was never found. Why is she telling me this right before bed? Since then, her spirit, known as the White Lady, has been imprisoned in the depths of the lake. She grieves eternally for the loss of the man she loved. When fog arises, the White Lady is known to leave the waters of the lake and roam the woods, looking for her long lost love. She's like a zombie? Within the fog of dawn, Probably not a zombie. hunters have claimed to hear the wail of a woman in the distance. Let's speak up I'm this time. I'm a little scared of this story, even though I like the lady. Should I stop reading, my little sparrow? No, Nanny. Daddy always tells me that fear must be faced. Go okay. ahead. Okay. Okay, honey. Every time the sad memory of the night she perished stirs in her soul, she takes the life of a young woman by slaying such a life in its youth. Even just for an instant, the lady feels free from the burden of her pain. Why is she out there killing other people? Causing the other, all of them pain. It's a fucked up story. Good night, Nanny. Good night, my love. One way to put it. I spent Damn. almost three years with the nanny, but when I came home, I quickly forgot how to be happy. My memories do not return until 15 years later, in 1944, when I stayed in that house. I enjoyed setting up cameras in the woods by the lake. My father created a device that attached to the cameras. It would make them take pictures at set intervals. I was trying to photograph animals. Or oh, nice. Else was in that damned place. Oh. She looking for ghosts? Am I outside? I? Oh, I got a camera. Oh. Left click. Am I gonna set it up? I'm gonna set it up for the night. Oh. Okay. Open the camera. Okay. Remove the old roll of film. Okay. We're learning how to take pictures. Put the new film in. Close the camera. Load the film. Activate the timer. Oh! Whoa! Lastly, Whoa! Now to bring the image into focus. Okay. Whoa, what? There's something floating on the surface of the water. If I bring it better, I might be able to see what it is. Oh, oh! I think I... Whoa! <laughs> Oh shit, that's a body. What? Oh. Is that a person? I must help them. Uh, go, go, get them. Let's go. Run. Run, Julia. Julia with a G. I was horrified at the idea that someone might have drowned in my lake. Yeah. The lake was my world where I would spend entire days daydreaming. The white lady? I would lose myself in my thoughts, but that was a rude awakening. So terrible.
Oh, I'm getting naked. Let's go. Can I fill in the water? Oh, I gotta do both. Run! Dive! Swim! Oh, I gotta swim. Or I'll drown. What is it? Is it gonna jump out at me? <gasps> I instantly noticed that the person was wearing one of my dresses. I was scared. I dragged that lifeless body as best as I could to the shore, trying not to drown myself. Only when I lifted her in my arms did I realize who she was. Was it Martha? My sister, my twin, a part of me. Ooh. Dead. Impossible to comprehend. So she's twins. I was desperate. She's a I twin. I didn't know what to do or to think. I guess he's... <laughs> I have to stay calm. Excuse me. Yeah. Ah! Martha is not dead. I'm gonna touch her. Don't touch her, she's gonna come to life. It's she's gonna be a zombie. She not really true. looks dead. She, I think she's dead, Julia. There's no need to worry. Hey, Jerry. It's fine. I might be. That was loud. I have to stay calm. Give me this thing. Martha is not dead. Martha, February 26th, 1923. And we're twins, so that's my birthday too. 1923. Is everything okay? Are you hurt? No, no, nothing's okay. There's a body here. Martha is dead. What are you doing? My parents ran towards me. My mother hugged Don't me. Hope you're having a good weekend, she, Jerry. Who detested me was now cuddling me. Her warmth filled me with life, and the pain became bearable. I felt protected. Martha, are you okay? She asked me, speaking slowly in order to let me read her lips. Oh, they think I'm Martha. She thought I was deaf. I, I put on Martha's necklace. I didn't want the moment to fade. So I meekly They don't know the head. difference between their daughters. I didn't realize I had done something. Like they can't look at one of them and be like, "Oh, you're definitely Martha. Oh, you're definitely Julia." I would have to A necklace is enough to fool them. A necklace and some clothes. Why didn't you tell them you're Julia? Hello? What's going on with this family? The sign the Lord who gives life to the dying, let your sacrifice of love be offered for Martha's soul. Into your hands I also entrust my spirit, so that I may be reunited with her in perpetual light, to never suffer the desolation of purgatory. Please grant her eternal rest, O Lord, and may eternal light shine upon her. Amen. To light the candles in the hall. People will be here soon. Oh, he could have heard me talking. Find something for everyone to do. Maybe I was just thinking that in my head. I like this. Painting. This is a point of interest. Oh. Mummy and Daddy. They are the epitome of wealth and elegance. But pain pays no heed to money and style. Got some this art. painter was a friend of Grandpa's. I always loved his paintings. As a child, I used to look at them for hours. The only way people could tell Martha and me apart was by dressing differently. Even Mother couldn't tell us apart. Really, though? Really? All right this letter right here let's read everything July Tell 17th, 1944 
Our family is deeply saddened and is thinking of you during this extremely difficult time. Ernesto E. and family. July 17th, 1944. Our hearts are with you and we share your grief in the wake of the tragic loss of your dearest Julia. Monsignor Attilio D. July 17th, 1944, Ministry of War. Director General for Conscripts and NCOs. We are grieving over your sudden loss, and we send you our heart. Wait, so we're Italian. The Lieutenant Colonel. In 1944, Italian. is that that's World War II, right? Are we the bad guys? An old painting. I find it so sad. It communicates a sense of deep solitude to me. Am I taking pictures? What's going on? Listen to the radio. Can't turn it off. We have to listen to the radio all of the time. Any news and announcements can be vital. World War Two. Here we go. Put on something a little bit nicer, even though I mean, ah. Uh! Oh wait, did she get hit in the head? Oh jeez. Julia! Oh, what instrument is that? Whoa! Daddy's That's not chill. Oboe. An oboe! So we're preparing a really nice duet together. On the rare occasions he's at home, that is. Julia, I mean, Martha. Sorry, you're dead. <laughs> oh, the moment I thought I saw. Oh, no, that's not possible. It must be this whole situation making me see things. <laughs> Quiet. Oh, it's Quiet. I gotta get away from this friggin' radio. It's so loud. Me out of here. Me out of this house. You guys are crazy. You don't even know me versus my sister. What's this? You have a dog? dog's basket, or should I say, the new dog's basket? I don't remember what happened to my first dog, but when I think of him, I feel despair. Oh, I'm sorry. Daddy's canes. They are so beautiful, but I can't say why. But they have always scared me. Uh oh. What do I have to do to get out of here? Please. There's no reason to use the phone right now. Stop this radio, it's so loud. Here we go. Damn, radio's loud. Can I leave? What do I have to do? Please. Dad, will you wake up? Dad. Daddy must be devastated. He loves me. I messed up and now I have to watch him suffer my death. That's my step, yeah. The candles and let him find some comfort in sleep. Oh, these candles? Ah, oh, maybe I need matches? Yeah. Oh no, this is a lighter. Let's light these candles. These are some big candles. I wonder what happened. Why did Martha drown? What happened? When you're done, can you come and get the flowers, please? Or send Martha if you like. Never a moment's peace. Even at a time like this, she can't sit still for a second. Oh, that's a funky song. Oh my god. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mama. Some flowers. Everything always has to be perfect. Do I give them to Martha? Oh, that's the right. Here you go, Martha. Where do you put the flowers? Here. Oh, 
dedicata alla pioggia. La mia barba è bionda. My beard is blonde. Abbiamo trasmesso alcuni messaggi speciali. Okay. Hello! Oh. It's gonna be one of these games where I'm gonna be like, where do I go? Ah! What's happening? Who closed the door? Huh? Erich, Erich, wake up! Do you think it's appropriate to sleep here? Of all gonna listen. What? Hmm? Yes, I must have fallen asleep. What are they talking about? You can't stay here forever. Why don't you go to bed? No, no. I want to stay with my daughter. Mm. Your daughter? Your daughter? You have another daughter, you know. The one who's still alive. Remember? What are you talking about, Irena? Julia is dead. What kind of comment is that? How can you? You should be thinking about Martha. Julia harmed Martha. You know that, right? And as if that were not enough, she has now also abandoned her. It's the same old story. Let's fuck up. Everything is always Julia's fault, isn't it? Her fault for Martha being deaf and for you being infertile. Oh. Do you think it's the right time for this? Julia is dead, Irena. Dead. Someone killed her. Do you realize that? Of course I realize. I get it. Do you think I'm stupid? No one understands it better than me. She this lady sucks. Problems. Only problems. It would have been better if she hadn't been born at all. <laughs> You're crazy. I'm the crazy one? Me? What a great marriage. They have done this to get at me, yes. Your death is all my fault. Oh, Dad. All I could ever do for you was hurt you, Julia. My poor, sweet, crazy girl. What will I do without you? What will life be like now? All the time I didn't spend with you. But now I'm home. We can go fishing together. We can take pictures of butterflies. No. Uh, yeah, no, can't you, you can't. She's dead. Anymore. Can we? Nothing. I miss you, Julia. Is it Julia or Julia? While American bombings continue to devastate the peaceful towns within the Elsa Valley, we have heard some tragic news from the area of La Ramola. The young daughter of German Army General Erich K was murdered. German by Army. What possible reason could there have been behind such a cowardly act? This is what the Carabinieri, who immediately intervened, hoped to find out. Oh no. So mom Mother hates didn't us. seemed to suffer from the situation. All she cared about was that my death was so painful for Martha. But not having me around anymore must have been a great relief to her. At the end Aww. of the day, it was better for everyone that it was me who died. And it was better for me, too, that people thought that. The things began to consume me. That's when I started having horrible nightmares. Oh, no. Uh oh. I. Oops. Oh, I was wrong. Martha! Martha! Martha has lost! Martha has lost her life. Oh shit, no. Martha? 
Has lost. Oh, I'm hearing voices. Her soul. Did she? He walked into the. Ah! Oh, that's scary. Oh, did I capture a picture of her going into the lake? No, this is my nightmare. I. I stole. I stole her life. Oh. I. Her identity. I mean, I guess it's symbolic. Yeah, she took her identity, but the thing is, you're twins. You literally have the same face. They can't tell you guys apart. It was just a Ugh. dream. A horrible Excuse dream. Me. That horrendous woman and the face of my sister. Ugh. I wish all of this was a dream and my sister is just sleeping in her bed. Instead, her bed is empty and this is reality. This is Martha and me at the festival of the patron saint. It was only a few months ago, and now... Martha had asked for a picture of me to put in this frame. She wanted me to do one of those expressions of mine that made her laugh. Expressions that she couldn't quite imitate. She used to say that those were the... I'm a bad girl. Yeah, hey, that was a bad dream. That was a... Definite Can awful dream. Soul? Can we talk about that picture right there? What is this? What are the, what is this? What's going on here? I don't like it. Whoa. I like points of interest. 
Ja, ja, ja. Right. I'm sleeping in Martha's bed Martha's because good. everyone thinks I'm Being Martha. Them will be like having her with me. Mummy will also be happy to see them. Or I could wear my clothes in the other wardrobe. Oh, do I have a choice? Huh. Oh, is this like my little vanity? That's cute. This is Martha's trinket box. It could contain something that will help to figure out what happened. I'm a vampire. So it's July 18th. Okay, yeah, it's just after. And so this is my side of the room. But... Oh gosh, if Mummy sees this picture, she'll throw it away for sure. It's me and Lapo. I want to see him Lapo. as soon as possible so we can mourn Martha's death together. My dress. The one Martha wore when she was... Why'd you keep that? <sighs> can I be Martha without her clothes? Mummy never wanted us to swap, so I don't know how she will take it. I could wear Martha's clothes instead, in the other wardrobe. Yeah, so there's an option. The bag. Everything I need is always in my bag. What if I wear Martha's clothes with Julia's bag? Like, oh my god, I just miss Julia. The key to my trinket box. Here's the whole family together. A very rare thing indeed. Let's see. Open up the trinket box. So the rooms are like mirror mirrored. They have like the same of everything just on Here opposite is my sides. Diary. You need a key to Martha's um trinket box. July twelfth, nineteen forty four. This is a new diary. We moved here today and I forgot my old one back at home. But that's okay. A new chapter in my life, a new diary. They say they brought us here for our own safety. Daddy, the war, and everything else. Nanny gave us her house and she went to look after the mansion. It's weird being back here after so many years. I remember Nanny telling me the fairy tale of the Lady of the Lake. You mean that horror I story? Memories I have from when I was How is that a happy memory? That Nanny is a terrifying here, story. Martha is here with me. Bruh. I also get to see Lapo more often, which is wonderful. My He's boyfriend. Mum Although, is thankfully too preoccupied with fixing up the house to worry about That's me. Julia's boyfriend, so can I even talk to Lapo? Ah. July 16th, 1944. There's something creepy about the woods. Something creepy about Every this time face. At the lake, I get a strange feeling. Maybe it's the legend of the white lady playing tricks on me. I get weird ideas. I think that there is this presence. Then I think I'm just being crazy. Anyway, crazy or not, I want to take some pictures. I'm not scared. In fact, I'd say I'm excited. I've made arrangements with Martha. She's coming to the lake with me tomorrow to set up two new cameras with timers, and we'll see what we can photograph. Not before a good swim, of course. To be honest, Martha doesn't like photography all that much, and recently Did Martha die when we were too. swimming? But she does like spending time with me by teasing me. Then, when she gets bored, she disappears into her books, and I do my own thing. We feel right when we're together. This music is unsettling. And then she just straight up died. Alright, I'm gonna wear Martha's clothes. I'm gonna wear I wanna wear this polka dot shirt. I'll be right there. I'm just going upstairs to Magician. Oh, you can't see the achievements that I'm getting. Fine, but I'm not sure we should let her sleep all day. What do you think? I'm gonna sleep all day. What did you say? The family doesn't realize it because I'm okay. Julia and Martha were twins, and apparently the family can't tell their kids apart. They have to wear different clothes. They really think I'm so she died in Julia's clothes, not to and I just like put Martha's necklace on, and they're like, "Oh my god, that's Martha!" I'm like, how do you not know your own child? Your own child.
Hello? Hello? Oh, that's locked. I can't go that way. I mean, that was a nightmare. Shift to run? Am I going to have to run all of a sudden? I was haunted. Hey, why does Julia have another room? Hello? As a child, when I spent those short years with the nanny, this was my room. Oh, gotcha. Because we're at the nanny's house, we swapped. Mother's breakfast is ready. We can go. Yes, yes. A magic suitcase. Late. Did you leave the newspaper for Martha? You know also, Martha was it. deaf. Yes, so they think it's that I can't hear them. And that camera, are you leaving it there? Yes, Irene. Can't you leave it there for a few more days? Do you mind? It was for Yulia. I will take it away soon. I, I promise. The sword makes me so sad. Seeing it there is as if I don't know how to explain it. All right, all right, all right. But let's go now. Beep, beep. We have too much to do. We can't stay here all day talking. Beep, beep. 